Let's go over some basic information about body composition. So in these slides, we're going to talk a lot about bioelectrical impedance, but we'll also talk about other measurements. But this will be more for bioelectrical impedance, and we'll kind of compare and contrast between other measures of percent body fat and body composition. So bioelectrical impedance, we pass an electrical current through your body, so you stand on a scale, and that electrical current will go through all the hydrated tissue in your body. Anything that is not hydrated will impede the signal, so any resistance it gets is counted as impedance. So fat will impede the signal because it's hydrophobic, it's afraid of water. And so based on that, we can kind of get an idea of your body composition. So we have to include your weight, and that allows us to get a BMI. So you take your height, weight, and age, and that gives us a BMI score. That's not good for most people, so don't go by that if you have a BMI score. You have to be perfectly proportional. It's not good for people under the age of 18. It's not good for people that are short or short in stature. It's not good for athletes because they have more lean mass and their bones are denser, so therefore they're going to weigh more for their height. So percent body fat is really what we want to look at. That's talking about subcutaneous fat if you've measured it with calipers. But there are other ways to measure percent body fat. You can use a body pod which works off air displacement. You can use hydrostatic weighing which works off water displacement. And you can use the DEXA scan if your college has one, which is the gold standard now. It's an x-ray. Body fat mass is how much of your weight comes from fat. It excludes all your lean mass. So it excludes water, muscle, and bone. Then these are the ranges for body fat for calipers. So if you've ever had your percent body fat checked using calipers, you want to be between 5 and 25 for men, 9 to 30 for women. Greater than 25 for men is obese. Greater than 30% for women is obese. That's using calipers. So the ranges are a little different for the, the Tanita machine or bioelectrical impedance because it includes visceral fat. It can tell how much fat is around your internal organs, something you cannot measure with calipers. Fat mass or lean mass is everything except fat, so bone, muscle, water. Percent body water is a measure of your hydration. This is extremely important for a bioelectrical impedance machine because you have to be hydrated for this machine to work. If you're dehydrated, it'll mess the scores up. Visceral fat rating, it's the fat around your internal organs. That's a fat we cannot measure with skin fold calipers. And it's, there's a high correlation between having too much visceral fat and hypokinetic disease. That means low movement disease, like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, all of those are hypokinetic. Here's an example of visceral fat. So here we have subcutaneous fat right over here. Sorry if I can get my cursor on it. And you have the abdominal muscle and then the visceral fat. <coughs> muscle mass is a rating of your metabolism, really. So you have a resting metabolic rate and you have a basal metabolic rate. So resting is how many calories you're burning while you're just sitting still. Basal is how many calories you would burn when you're sleeping. Physique rating is based on your activity level. How often do you work out? So if you ever use a Tanita machine or a biological impedance machine, it's going to ask you how often do you work out? Low, moderate, high? And based on that, it'll plug your information into one of those three equations, so the equations vary. Basal metabolic rate is when you're asleep. A Tanita machine will give you a basal metabolic rate score. It's not a true BMR score. It's really more of a resting metabolic rate because you're taking, you're going to have to be awake to do bioelectrical impedance. Bone mass. It's not a true bone mass density score, it's just whatever's left over, it can tell that that must be coming from bone. So 
It's not water or muscle, so therefore it must be bone. And skinfold tests. We talked about them. You have to use a skinfold chart. That's going to be the skill that we use in class. Go in and find out your percent body fat and learn how to use calipers.